Hey guys, this is Mr. Grace for Algebra 1, Chapter 9.3, Notes. Today we're talking about special products of polynomials. So, when, as we get started, let's see if you can remember this. When we were studying exponents, we mentioned that you can distribute an exponent into parentheses as long as there is no addition or subtraction. So, looking inside here, do we have addition or subtraction? So we can distribute that 2. And we distribute the 2 to everything, even that 5, which has an exponent of 1. So when we rewrite this, we multiply the exponents. We get 5 squared, x to the 8th power, y to the negative 6. Okay? And now, we're not allowed to have negative exponents, so we have to drop it down like it's hot, so the y6 comes down, 5 squared is 25, x to the 8th, and we can't do anything else, okay? Same thing in example number 2, we distribute it to everything. So when we rewrite this, Our new exponents, we got 3 squared, x to the 8th, 4 squared, and y to the negative 10th, okay? If your exponent's negative, you drop it like it's hot, it's already on the bottom, you bring it up to the top, okay? Three, oh, that's supposed to be 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, x 8, y 10, and then 4 squared is 16. Can you reduce that? can't. So that's our final answer. Okay. You cannot distribute an exponent in parentheses if there is addition or subtraction. Okay. Here's why. If x squared equals x times x, then x plus 2, that's our exponent. It tells us how many of the bases we have. So that means we have x plus 2 times x plus 2. So here's an example. Let's say x equals 5. So over here, 5 plus 2 squared. Well, 5 plus 2 is 7, and 7 squared is 49. Now, on the other side of that, 5 squared plus 4. 5 squared is 25, and 25 plus 4 is 29. Do those two things equal each other? They don't. That's why you can't just go like, oh, well, x that makes x squared and 2 squared is 4. Okay? We just proved that doesn't work. Okay? Alright. So for these, we have to find the product. Okay? Product means to multiply. This means x plus 5 times x plus 5. First time I do this, I'll do FOIL, and then we'll do the box method. Okay, so f for the FOIL is x squared. x times 5x gives me a positive 5x. The inside 5x, and then the last right here gives you 25. Combine your like terms, and our final answer is x squared plus 10x plus 25. Okay. On this next one, we're going to do the box method. Now remember that this means 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. 2x times 2x is 4x squared minus 2x minus 2x and plus 1. Combine your like terms. Or you can just 
straight across like that. But you get 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. Okay. Remember that this is 3n plus 4 times 3n plus 4. squared. Three times four gives us twelve n. The inside, which is twelve n. And then the last four times four is sixteen. Okay. Combine those like terms. Final answer nine n squared plus 24n, plus 16. Okay, number four, all on your own, you can do box method or foil. Go ahead and pause the video, and good luck. Okay, and after you combine like terms, you should get 49n squared minus 56 plus 16. Okay, a couple more special cases now. Take a look because now we have opposite symbols in between. Okay? So starting off with foil, we get 25x squared. The O gives us a positive 10x. The inside gives us negative 10x. And the last gives us a negative 4. Okay? Combine your like terms right here in the middle. And when you combine those, those actually cancel out. So we're left with 25x squared minus 4. Okay, let's do problem number 6. And we'll do this one the box method. y plus 2 and y minus 2. Remember, it doesn't matter which one you put where. y times y gives us y squared. 2y. y times negative 2 is negative 2y. And then negative 2 times negative 2. Combine your like terms right there. And when you do that, once again, those guys cancel out. And we're left with y squared minus 4. Alright, number 7 and 8, you guys are all on your own. Pause the video. You can do box method or foil. As soon as you start the video back up, the answers will be up. So, good luck. Okay, if you have any questions for this, please come see Ms. Crimes or myself, because we would love to help you out. Otherwise, that's it for Algebra 1, Chapter 9.3, Notes. And your homework is below. Make sure to finish it off. Okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.